Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You may notice this blank space behind me where there was a Toyota MR2. There is no longer an MR2 there. So I've had to let it go. Um, I was working on it and I started rebuilding it. I got most of the front end back together. But as a couple of people pointed out in the last video, it, the repair I did, it was straight and it was I'm pretty sure it was quite strong, but it probably did need cutting off and replacing properly and the more I thought about it and I was just losing sleep over it thinking oh maybe I should do that properly yeah adding up all the parts and everything started to make the thing sort of not viable for restoration I know a lot of you were saying I shouldn't have restored it in the first place and to be honest you're probably right I should have just broken it straight away um, but at least it has now gone to someone one of you guys actually um, really nice guy who um, watch the channel and he's actually going to fix it and restore it properly and I'm, I'm quite happy about that because I, I want I, I'm glad it's getting another lease of life at least by bringing it to the YouTube channel I, I guess someone's going to give it another lease of life um, so I'm happy about that that it's not being broken in the end price wise on the MR2 we probably just about broke even um, I sold it for 850 pounds and I probably spent about 250 quid on bits, so it, yeah, we probably just about broke even. Sorry, I just had to get out of the rain. I swear every time I come up here, it seems to rain at the moment. Um, the weather's been awful recently, but yeah, it's a shame the toilet has gone, and it's a shame it's not going to be on the channel anymore. But I promise to get an update from the bloke when he um, when he gets it back on the road. So you will you will see that car back on the road, hopefully. Um, but there's other things going on here. Uh, I've got another project that's right here um, that I'm working on and as soon as this weather picks up we're gonna be working on that van and I'm gonna be painting it and also one thing I want to do in this video is ask you guys opinion on what I should do with the van I was thinking of painting it black but I do have the original paint as well so I want to know what you guys think either do I paint the van black or do I paint it with the original paint um, preferably I'm thinking black because I think these vans are a lot they look pretty cool in black if you can just sort of imagine this front end see if you go sort of like that so I think it looks quite good in black I mean that whole front was black including this bumper I think that would look quite good I mean the bumper does have a little bit of damage uh, I think it's over here yeah down there I mean I could probably fix that I'm not too I mean I'm using this as like a work van to be honest I was driving this thing every single day at the moment, and to be honest, I absolutely love it. I don't, I don't. I thought it, I thought it would be loud and noisy. It is quite loud and noisy, but it's just quite nice to drive. Um, I think I fixed the boost leak. I think it's still a tiny, tiny little boost leak somewhere, and I'm just a. Uh, it's not. It's annoying me quite a lot because I can't, I can't find that. But I need. I haven't really, I haven't delved into it because. To be honest, I just, it's never really got that much stuff in it. It's just really got my tools in it. Um, these, this is gonna need a bit of work when we paint it. I don't know whether just to scrap these, um, this wiper motor or find another one and actually take this stuff off. Cause if I want a camper in the long run, I probably might want the back windows. But for now I might just take that one out and blank it off. A bit of rust down the bottom of there doesn't look too bad that will come off these have all got a bit crispy around there um, this door has got quite a lot of filler in it basically it's had a quite a big whack in this side but like I say I mean it's just a work van for me at the moment I'm not really too fast uh, I was thinking maybe painting it the, the blue first and then maybe going black one day but I have seen some paint down the road um, like it will be a funny video. It will be a funny video. Um, that is really cheap. Like the cheapest paint I've ever seen in my life. So that might be what happens to this van. And it will look good, I promise. Um, but yeah, I think black would look good. Uh, I don't mind the wheels. I know a lot of people don't like these uh, original wheels, but I quite like them. I don't. I can't get that thing to work. That light thing. I think that's just had it. Uh, I would like to do the front end conversion. That is for sure because they do look a bit dated it's it is what it is and i use it every day and it's 
It's fantastic. It does. I can I can go to jobs and fix people's cars and stuff without having to bring cars up here, which is very nice. But yeah, in the in the workshop here, I'm actually painting a Morris Minor for a friend of mine. Um, if anyone was is interested in seeing that, uh, it's been like it's been in this stage for the last month or so just because of the weather unfortunately unfortunately it's got base coat on it and I didn't, I didn't have enough base coat to finish it and it's been in this base coat for quite a while so it's all going to need sanded back and then reapplied but this needs to get finished so we can get it out and then get other things in I'll show you a quick glance at what I've got going on outside the workshop um, There'll be a big video on this coming up. There's a lot more to this than, than you see. This next project I've got, I'll tell you how much that cost. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. It's a, it's a bit of an odd one. Um, I've been working on it for a little bit in, in the background. It's really scratching my head over it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing the van, painting the van. I want to know your opinion on the colour, obviously. Um, I can do that really cheaply, but it's just this weather. I, I just, I can't get the van inside, so I have to paint it outside. And um, I don't think it'll fit in this workshop. I think it's too, too small. And um, so we're gonna have to paint it outside. I have got a like a gazebo thing that I can put up, but I don't even think that's big enough for the van either. So, and it's just so damp that the paint's never. It's just never gonna work in this in this climate. Um, just got to wait for some decent weather. That'll get painted. I want to know your opinion on the colour. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, update-wise. I really hope the ML2 gets done. Um, what else have we got going on? Oh, if anyone is after any 17-inch tyres, um, these have just been sitting here. I've got They're brand new. They were used for a uh, music video. Uh, if anyone's near me and they want some 17-inch tyres, Hit me up because uh, these are just sitting here, and I, I never seem to have a car with 17-inch tires. They are. I don't know if you can see that. Two one five sixty-five seventeens. If you're interested in those, let me know. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And it's going to be an interesting one. It's just uh, it's a bit out of my comfort zone. This that's for sure. But yeah. See you in the next one.